All right, welcome to part one of my Escape from Tarkov tutorial series. This is a good series for anyone who does not actually want to improve by playing the game. And um, that kind of ties into our first tutorial. Um, why would you not want to play Escape from Tarkov as a new player? And the answer would be Gear Fear. Uh, gear Fear is um, the fear of losing the the equipment that you acquire in this game, like your weapons, your armor, your backpacks. So there's actually um, a way that you can get over this fear by simply never taking that gear into a raid. You will never have to fear losing that gear because you um, just simply keep it in your stash where it should be. So this raises the question, uh, how can you play Tarkov with no gear? Um, you will have to take in one thing, um, one pistol. And that's it. A pistol is something that you can get for no, almost no money. You can load up on a scav and do this. You don't even have to actually use your PMC's pistol. And if you, if you lose everything in your stash, you can do this because you can just pick a scav, extract with his weapon, and do it with that. It doesn't have to be a pistol. I like to do a pistol because it's the least amount of gear risk. So uh, when we're doing the pistol run, we want to have as little items on us as possible as not to risk too much. So I think at the most that you technically need for this is a pistol and a one bullet chambered. It, you don't technically need a magazine with extra ammo, although it'll help if you don't have the best aim, like me. Um, so the first and most important thing about pistol running is we, uh, we need to walk at the slowest speed possible. Um, this way no one can hear us. When an enemy can't hear you, you can take your time and place your shots and you can be very precise. And so what we accomplish in doing this is uh, we're able to get an easy headshot on someone. And we don't have to be good at combat. We can just shoot him in the face. He's going to die. This is a, a military sort of a simulator game. So, you know, bullet to the face does kill you. And, you know, this, this uh, tier four or three rig that this guy had doesn't uh, actually help him in this scenario because he got uh, shot in the face rather than in the body or the forehead where his helmet would be uh, protecting him. Um, so we just took a pistol and we have now acquired a, a few guns and uh, some armor. It looks like there's some apple juice and I think I can see some croutons there. So at this point when you've acquired your first weapon in the raid with your pistol strategy, this is when you can play Tarkov free of gear fear and you can engage in combat. And you might be asking, well, how can I play free of gear fear when I now have gear? Um, and the reason that you can play without gear fear is because this isn't technically your gun. You need to keep in mind that you did not bring this weapon into the raid. This weapon belongs to a guy who got shot in the face. So if we die, that's not our gear that is lost that is the gear of the man who got shot in the face now if we get out of the raid with his gear we can put it in our stash where it will be safe and never have to enter a raid again but until then there is no reason to fear losing this weapon that uh, belongs to someone else until the end of the raid that is so we've skipped forward a little bit in the recording and we can see here that um, we're continuing to engage in combat with our free gear and uh, getting even more profit from that one pistol that we brought into the raid. And if you want to be extra cost effective, you could technically even replace that pistol with another pistol you found in the raid and keep both by committing insurance fraud. Um, Insurance fraud would basically be dropping an insured item in a corner where no one's going to find it, and then you'll get that item returned to you. And you can then 
put uh, another pistol that you find in that slot. So that was it for the first tutorial in my Escape from Tarkov series. Pretty straightforward, very easy. I'd like to know how this strategy has worked for you guys in the comments down below. And please subscribe for uh, future t tutorials. We'll be getting into some more um, advanced strategies in the, uh, the coming videos. Thank you.